Let's take the derivatives of these three composite functions involving arc cosine. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson going over the derivative of arc cosine in case you need a refresher. This is the general formula for the derivative of arc cosine in context of the chain rule. So if you have arc cosine of u, where u is a function of x, the derivative of arc cosine of u is negative u prime divided by the square root of 1 minus u squared. So let's apply that formula and begin with our first problem, the derivative of arc cosine of x squared. In this case, the u, the inside function, is x squared. So of course, we need to begin with negative u prime in the numerator. So negative, and then u prime is the derivative of x squared, which is just 2x. So negative 2x is our numerator, and in the denominator, we simply have the square root of 1 minus the inside function squared. x squared squared is x to the fourth and that's our derivative. The derivative of arc cosine of 2x is very similar. In the numerator, we have negative u prime, negative times the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is 2x, and its derivative is 2, so our numerator is just negative 2. In the denominator, we have the square root of 1 minus the inside function 2x squared. 2x squared, though, is 4x squared, so let's just write 4x squared, and that's the derivative. Finally, the derivative of arc cosine squared of x, we actually can't use the previous formula for this one because arc cosine is not the outside function. Squaring is the outside function here. So we just need the old chain rule f prime of g times g prime. So a thing squared is f, the outside function f prime, the derivative of a thing squared, is just 2 times the thing. In this context, that means 2 times the thing that was getting squared. Arc cosine was getting squared, so it's 2 times arc cosine. But then we need to multiply by the derivative of that inside function, which is arc cosine. Arc cosine was the thing getting squared, so now we need to multiply by its derivative. And the derivative of plain old arc cosine of x is negative 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. And there you have three basic examples of differentiating arc cosine with the chain rule. Let's finish with a more complicated example. You can give this one a try yourself. Arc cosine of 4 times the natural log of x squared. This is like the first two examples in that we have a function inside the arc cosine as opposed to arc cosine inside some function. So let's begin with negative times the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is 4 ln of x squared, so we'll have negative 4, and then the derivative of the natural log of x squared begins with the derivative of ln, which is 1 over the input. The input is x squared, so it's 1 over x squared. But since that input is itself a function, we're using the chain rule here. We need to go ahead and multiply by the derivative of that inside function. The derivative of the inside function x squared is 2x, and that is our numerator. That's the derivative of 4 ln of x squared, with of course that negative that we need in front as well. In the denominator, we have the square root of 1 minus this inside function squared. The inside function squared is 16 multiplied by the natural log of x squared squared. And after doing some simplification, this is our final answer. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.